What's up, everybody? This is Jason, Zombie Collector. And uh, I've been a busy little beaver over the last, I don't know, couple of months. I've been going into my garage and uh, going through boxes uh, and trying to make heads and tails of stuff that I have in that garage. Now, you all know from previous videos years ago that I have certain YouTubers still chained in my garage so i had to like you know work my way around those youtubers uh to get to these boxes but i did find some uh some some thar gold in them thar hills if you will and so i will show you what i have found in this garage some stuff i had completely forgot about so i'm going to show you with no further ado uh what i have found so the first up is a george foster autographed baseball Actually, I went to go see the Indianapolis Indians play, and he was one of their free autographs with Luca probably like eight years ago when he was about four-ish, five. I got some pictures of it somewhere on my phone, but here is George Foster on a baseball. I think him and I ran to go get a um, ball, and at the time I didn't really know that much about baseball, so I got this like Rawlings playmaker ball which is not an official baseball so and then he signed in sharpie as you can see so i'm surprised the autograph has stood up this long but it's probably not going to be uh, of this world for much longer it'll probably end up fading away in obscurity but here is the first thing i found in there the next one i found is pretty cool i have two of them i can't find the other one oh no that's not it this is uh, Kazuhisa Ishii autograph in Japanese. Now, I bought one year uh, a couple months ago, maybe like six months ago, if you all remember. I got this off of eBay for like five bucks or something. Well, this one I got along with a one in English like 12 years ago or something. So I was selling both a Japanese and an English signed by Kazuhisa Ishii. So here is the box it came in. As you can see right there. And, it's, uh, and so this is the one that says English. So, I, so like I said, there's an English version and a Japanese. But here's a Japanese. It is also, I authenticate it there. And it's on a Rawlings Authentic Baseball. So you have both of that. And then I also have, to prove that, I have this. So just in case people were like, ah, da, 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 da. So there you go. There's that. But that is the Japanese version of his name, let me, right there, so that's Ishii, so that's pretty cool, I found that, then I also found a Frank Howard autograph baseball, that is also, uh, has the uh, 1960 National League Rookie of the Year, uh, he added on there as an inscription, as you can see, and it comes from TriStar Treasure, so I think I pulled this out of a, back in the day when they were doing those, you know, uh, bag baseball bag pulls for like twenty bucks or whatever they were per per bag. You don't know what you're getting. You know, you can get a Ty Cobb or a Babe Ruth or I got Frank Howard. So you know, and of course there's a sticker on the back there for that. So there's that. The next two, or no, there's one more. Then when I was a little kid, now, I don't know if this is real or not. Somebody who is better at signatures and autographs and auto pens and you know, go signatures and secretarials and all that can let me know. Now, I went online and looked. Now, the same card that was sent out by the uh, the Orioles organization back in the 80s did not have signatures. It was just a regular 5 by 7 card that they sent out to, I guess, fans or whatever. However, this one is signed by Cal Ripken Jr. So if I take it out of the holder here, you can maybe see a little bit better. But this is signed, at least it looks like it's signed, because you see the same here, same ones, and there's no signature. It's just uh, Carl Ripken Jr. They have, you know, other players. They have a team card. It's like, it's like a postcard. As you can see on the back, it's a postcard. But this one is signed, and I looked at it again, and it is a real, it looks like he signed it in real pen. Like it was like a real, like a ball, like a ballpoint pen, like, uh, because it looks like there's like some, um, what do you call that, uh, there is some like uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Troy, you tell me. Troy, tell me. It's like it's a it's a, 
it, it, it's not so clean and there's like some like like I don't know what I don't know what the word I'm looking for. Uh I can't think smearing a little bit, I guess. It's not so super clean that which makes me which leads me to believe this is a real signature. Now is it really Kyle Ripken Jr. signature? That's the question. I believe it is a real signature. Now I looked on his I looked online during the eighties when he when I sent this off to ask for a baseball autograph from Kyle Ripken Jr. when I was a kid. I was probably like eight years old, ten years old. You know, I, I requested a, a TTM back in the day, and this is what I got back from the organization. And I'm and so uh, you know, this signature lines up with the signatures from that time when he would write out his name like that. So I think it looks as far as this, you know, very minimal research looks to be pretty good. But again, for all I know, his dad signed it or B Billy signed it. Now, two of the last items are 100% authentic. I was there. I was there to get the autographs. They were handed to me in hand, and I got to hug and shake hands of these players. One is this awesome Don Mattingly, Don Russ, a big card, whatever is Don Russ, whatever, a big card, all-star card. So it says, to Jason, Don Mattingly, super, super cool. If you can see that, that was so cool. I got that from him. At his restaurant, and you might be saying, "Well, where's the proof?" Boom, there he is. My dad, uh, they're taking the picture of Don hanging out at his restaurant. It was uh, uh, Manny's twenty-three back in Evansville. That's an actual Polaroid that we took as a family of Don while we're waiting in line to go meet him. Uh, like I said, he kind of got to know our family uh, over the years, and uh, but at the time, he was like letting people come up and hang out and talk with them, and then, like, you know, sign autographs for free. So I got this autograph of, of him back then, which is super cool. I've never shown this off, I don't believe. And I know I never saw all this Polaroid because these are all things that were hiding in my garage. And last and certainly not least, now these been through the ringer. Not only are they game used, and I've mentioned this in the past in other videos, I, I'm sure, like, the elements got on them, so it's not as sexy as it could have been maybe 25 years ago whenever I first met him. But these are game-used Barry Larkin batting gloves from the World Series 1990 team. Now, that's the year I met him in 1990, uh, that summer, because I went to go have open-heart surgery at the Mayo Clinic in uh, Minnesota. So I was able to go meet them in the summer before I went to that uh, surgery in my one of the things I got to do was go meet them in their clubhouse. And so my uncle set this up for me. So as you can see here, he signed the the straps of the gloves, his autograph. And like I said here, it looks like a mouse got it somewhere along the way. You see this eating up. Thank God his signature is still there, even though it was super faded. But again, these are his game-used gloves. Luca put them on a couple of days ago and was like, I'm wearing a Hall of Famer's baseball gloves. But this is the year they won the World Series. I had a surgery in July, I believe, or June. So I would have seen him in like late May, early June, I believe. And then, of course, the World Series later on that year. So these were not World Series game used, but these were game used from him, I'm sure, the previous night or whatever. But him and I, we spoke together, and then he gave me his gloves afterwards. He's like, hey, I want you to have these. So these are Barry Larkin's game used gloves. So, guys, hope you all enjoyed watching the video. Some cool little uh, bits of information. Some things that you've never seen on my channel before. Things I've just found recently in my garage next to a few other YouTubers. So, I hope you all enjoyed. And until next time, peace.